Rumors abound that charges may very soon be leveled against the Trump organization. That transiting Neptune is sitting like a 2,000 pound threat in the heart of his eighth sign, the place where you deal with taxes, insurance and banking, and all that is good and bad in that regard. The squares to his sun and moon are a big threat, and because Neptune moves very slowly, we're going to get triggers again and again during these years we are living through. And another one is coming up on Wednesday. In that regard, listen to Michael Cohen, his ex-lawyer fixer and devotee, now 110% against him, as he tells Ari Melber of MSNBC what he thinks is happening and about to happen. You look at these new reports, uh, they confirm a lot of what you have said. Uh, they confirm some of what we've been reporting here, as I mentioned. Uh, what does it mean to you, based on your knowledge of the company, that according to some sources, uh, these indictments are coming soon, but they would begin potentially with these issues around the CFO Weisselberg and maybe indicting the company or part of it? So I'm not so sure that the indictments don't start as early as tomorrow or Wednesday. I mean, the DA has been you know, very busy uh, putting this case together. They have millions of documents. I've said this on your show before, Alan Weisselberg is not the key to this indictment. It's not Weisselberg, it's not Calamari, it's, it's all of them or none of them. The documentary evidence is what the DA has and what they're gonna be going on. You know that uh, as well as anybody. Now, one of the things about Weisselberg they claim is that he's not cooperating, he's, um, actually the the opposite he's refusing to cooperate well that's okay because right now they're in the investigation stage and it's always easy to be tough when you're in the investigation stage once those indictments come in it's a total different game now what's on the line is your freedom and based upon the allegations that are being brought against Weisselberg against Calamari, against the Trump Organization and others I mean you're looking at potentially 10 years and rest assured the game is not stacked in your favor and the lawyers will turn around especially that they're being paid by trump right now that you know stay stay the course like what was told of me stay the course you know stay on message do what you need to do right don't worry donald is there for you he loves you he's going to protect you he'll never let anything bad happen until of course he forgets alan who matt who michael cohen who and if it isn't this week, well, there's always next week because these lunar hits are coming approximately every seven days. However, based on what you heard, this one does look significantly threatening. Now, as it turns out, if charges are filed from now until the end of July, then they will bear the stamp of Mars and Leo, which happens to be the two-year return to its natal position in his chart. Notice it rules the legal house. This means if you're getting hit like this at the beginning of the cycle, you could well be in for a two-year hellish journey in the legal arena, particularly when you examine the surrounding planetary context, which features very unfavorable energy coming from transiting Saturn, transiting Neptune, transiting Pluto, and transiting Eris. I will tell you one thing. The psychology side of astrology never fails. We're going through a record-setting heat wave out here in the Pacific Northwest, but I'm pretty sure the orange menace is sweating a lot more than I am right around now.